Uh, stock of the day. Um, look, we haven't talked about Westpac in particular uh, very much uh, recently. And today's announcement that it's appointing uh, RBA Assistant Governor uh, Lucy Ellis to be its chief economist sort of caught my attention. Um, Ellis will replace our old mate Bill Evans, who's been the chief economist since 1991. Yep, Bill Evans has been the chief economist at Westpac since the last recession and uh, will start the role on October 9. So interesting appointment, David Lane. Uh, obviously, Lucy Ellis uh, thinks she is not is not going to get the top job at the, uh, at the Reserve Bank. So is moving for, for bigger bucks uh, at Westpac, I should imagine, beforehand. But um, what about Westpac as uh, one of our big four banks at the moment? What do you think of it? Yeah, well, as you say, it's a, an interesting announcement. Um, you know, Bill Jones is uh, Bill James, I should say, has been Evans. part of the, the the institution for a, a long, long time. Um, and uh, yeah, it's certainly um, interesting to to have a, a changing of the guard, and and potentially it may even say a little bit more about what might be going on at the Reserve Bank. That um, you know, Philip Lowe is is due to have his contract either renewed or or uh, terminated in September this year. So there's obviously some internal um, uh, politicking going on there. But uh, yeah, a bit of a changing there uh, at, at Westpac and the RBA. But as far as uh, an investment's concerned, we like Westpac at current levels. We've got an accumulate recommendation on it. Uh, it's actually trading at pretty good fundamentals, uh, PE of about 10 times and a dividend yield of 6.9% fully franked. Mm. So the gross yield is nearly 10% on Westpac. Uh, so definitely good from a, a yield perspective. Um, and generally we do find that banks uh, in rising interest rate environments make more money. Um, and you know the, there has been some pressure on, on net interest margins at the banks, but we think Westpac are, are managing that fairly well. Uh, and really what we've seen in the last five years is the major banks have got back to their knitting and, and they're, they're back to being core banks. So um, you know, the, the mortgage market um, continues to be relatively strong, uh, even in spite of the headwinds that are on the horizon. And while we've got strong employment, uh, we'll think that you know, we, we should continue to have a, a reasonable market for, uh, for mortgages in the future. Okay. All right. Accumulate on Westpac. Daniel, <coughs> excuse me. What do you... <coughs> oh, I'm just choking on myself. Um, Daniel, what do you think of Westpac? Look, I think Westpac and probably go for the big four as a whole, uh, <laughs> as uh, the most well positioned in the sector at the moment. Um, we're certainly, you know, quite cautious banking as a whole, uh, probably because we're coming off a, a peak in margins and a peak in profitability. So they are trading on higher yields, but I think that's the market kind of saying, you know, we're anticipating that to, to potentially fall, if not be very stable for the next few years. So really X growth. Um, one thing that we've been focusing on quite heavily is really the rollover from the RBAs TFF, the, the term funding facility at that very low rate. And I think Westpac's probably one of the more well-progressed banks in refinancing that. So I think there are probably reasons to be, you know, relatively positive on Westpac um, out of the big four. But keep in mind, um, you know, that they're talking up the cost out program. Uh, very difficult to, to manage when you've got, you know, rising cost inflation in, in their P&L base. So probably a few things to be cautious about, uh, but we'd be happy to hold it here. Probably probably not enough value at the moment for us to be buyers. Yeah, Daniel, though, a, a lot of panellists here on the call, though, constantly say big four banks over the longer term just been terrible performance. Uh, yes, retail investors love them. Um, but return on shareholders' funds has just been disappointing. Um, good yield at the moment, fully frank, yes, but you know, over the longer term, not great. Well, I think there's probably similar sentiments to, to some of the major miners there, Koshi, in that if you actually look at the businesses over the last 20 years, 
you know, there's been multiple transformations. Obviously, the, the Royal Commission was a huge impact to their business model in terms of what aspects or what lines um, they were in. You know, obviously, the kind of advice and the wealth packaging and, and everything of that sort is now really out of those companies. And it's more focused on mortgage lending, mm. you know, pure play mortgage lenders. So I think that's that's got to be considered um, in that discussion because the businesses have been disrupted over the long term, similar to something like a Telstra. Um, you know, it's, it's something that started as a monopoly and then was disrupted more in a more competitive market. So I think you've got to consider those aspects. Therefore, you know, I think the next five years probably, you know, you'd have to have give them a little bit of grace because, you know, they're, they're already differentiated businesses now. And now these guys have the competitive advantage to, you know, say the neobanks because they have the cost of capital advantage, they have the size yeah. advantage. They're the ones getting the customer deposits, which is really what drives, um, you know, bank profitability. You want to be able to have the lowest cost structure. So I think there are reasons to be positive, you know, relatively. Um, but, you know, the sector as a whole is likely to be a little bit challenged in the near term for the yeah. reasons discussed. So not too positive. But, you know, relative to the long term of what they have been, I think the outlook's a little bit brighter. Okay. Remind me, did you have a buy on Westpac just then or hold? No, happy to hold it hold here. It, right. Ju- speaking of those um, uh, new banks coming out, we've got Judo later in this half hour. All right.